In today's video on how to build your food truck 2.0 with me, Frank Waltiers, we're gonna be unboxing the first thing that showed up that, that I ordered. I've ordered just a couple things, one of them being the trailer tray made by Stromberg Carlson Products. I ordered it from Camping World. Uh, we're gonna open this up, show you how it looks. It's gonna go right here in the tongue of the trailer. And the other, the other couple topics that we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna go inside and some questions and feedback that I received from my first build uh, which was uh, how to build your food truck 1.0 was did you put an air conditioner inside your trailer that's a very good question I'm going to show you guys that inside and the other one was did you insulate your walls those are both great questions because like right now it's summer and when you heat up those ovens and when you heat up the cooking equipment inside man it gets toasty in there um, but let's open this for now this was about a hundred this was about 180 bucks. It's a little heavy too, to be honest. So here it is. There's a few things that I order right away. One of them was this one, like I mentioned. The other one was the transition pieces uh, where you connect your walls and your ceilings, the two stainless steel sheets that go like this, either they butt in together or the corners. I ordered those uh, transition pieces and I'll link those in the description here. Um, I used those on the last build that I had and that was one of the, the best things that I did purchase for that for that look because it made the difference in that stainless steel. It made the, it made the, the trailer look a lot more uh, cleaner, so to speak, with the, when you put the two sheets together. Ah, but anyways, there's how it shows up, just like this. It's just the tubes, the platform right here. I lost my knife already. Look at that. The platform right here. This is um, something that I need to. Oh, where's my little tray? Oh, here. Here's uh, the, the tray up here. The tray up top where the generator goes right here. Is where your generator will sit at the top. There it is, just like that. So with that, let's go inside and let's talk about those two different topics. I just wanted to show you the unboxing of what we're doing, uh, taking you step by step. And literally everything that I do on the food truck, every part that I get, I'm gonna show you guys how we built it. That way you can do it, that way you can do it as well for your truck or your trailer. If you have a truck like an old UPS truck or like a tool truck, how you mount your generator on there, I'm not too hundred. I'm not sure hundred percent. A lot of people take it up and tra up the trailer or down the trailer, but uh, on this particular setup with this trailer, we can use the tongue and this space right here to hold a lot of important things. But let's go inside and let's show you the rest of it. Go. All right, so part of the build on the food truck on the trailer is the demo. So I got my handy dandy hammer and we're gonna be taking out all these little transition pieces that came with the original food truck. So with the original trailer, sorry. As you can see here, I'm just gonna take it off so I can show you. It kind of pops off right here. Sometimes you get staples in there. Uh, a couple questions that I that I did get asked on the other video as well is, like on the truck, like on a, like I was saying, an old UPS truck or maybe like a FedEx truck or a bread truck or something. They typically don't have plywood on the walls. That's why I like trailers because from factory they come with plywood on the top. This one's about a three eighth inch uh, plywood but it's pretty sturdy right here. you can see it's pretty sturdy that'd be crazy if i actually like popped in and it broke then that'd be so sturdy with a truck you have to build the wall because they don't have it or you have to put plywood between the sheets uh, make sure that you build like a wall on on the trucks i know that for a fact on the trucks you have to build this because the trucks don't come with it um, and inside, the other question that I got was, do you insulate your walls? I do not insulate my walls. Inside, you can. Uh, I choose not to because uh, once you get your griddle and your burners running in here, it gets, it's gonna get hot regardless. There's nothing you can do about it. It gets really toasty in here. Um, so if you wanted to insulate your walls, I guess you could. You just have to take out all the plywood and then put it right back on. I do insulate the ceilings though that I do uh, when I'm putting the stainless steel on the top, 
I do put insulation right here because ooh, it can get kind of hot with the uh, with the sun he um, hitting it all the time. So the walls, I do not insulate. The ceiling, I do. Um, and then we put the stainless steel right on top. The other question that I had was, do you put an AC inside? There's there's no right or wrong to that. I choose not to. I don't put an AC for two reasons. One, uh, you have to account for it with your generator and the AC is like, you could take this off right here, this the roof vent and put the AC right there. But those typically can, can suck up a lot of electricity. So you have to get a bigger generator. I pull about 30 amps right now and I have a little bit of space there to pull a little bit more, but not much uh, because these ACs do pull a lot. So I typically open this when I'm running my trailer and get a bunch of fans. That's how we stay cool in the summer and the hot months and it can get really hot. But since I do breakfast burritos, I usually only work the morning, but a lot of people work the evening, right? They do different, different food. You can put an AC. I choose not to just so you know. So when it comes to the air conditioner, especially here in the food trucks, because it can get hot because of all the equipment we're using, there's many options. You can put a rooftop unit right up top. You can do a mini split or how I do it. I just have a bunch of fans in here. And the reason I do it is because you got to think of it like this. So once your food truck is run, for example, right here, all this is going to be a big concession window. And... And when you're taking orders, you're taking money, and you're uh, servicing your customers, that's gonna be open. So all your when I when I first started my first food truck, I talked to other food truck owners that were locally here uh, when they were doing like their uh, carnivals and things. And I said, hey, do you guys use your AC a lot? And there was a couple of them were like pizza places, the the, the little pizza uh, Italian places, and they're like, you know what, we do. However, there's two things that will happen with the AC when it's running. One, it's going to go in through the vent, right, through your, your uh, cooking vent. All the cold air is going to get sucked up, through, sucked up through there. The other one is your concession window is just going to let it all out. So I started thinking, I was like, you know what, that makes sense. Why would, I, why would I add an air conditioner to somewhere where I will have the windows open? It's like in your house. You won't turn on your AC and have all your windows open because it just doesn't make sense. It's the same here in the food truck. I'm sure it might keep it one degree, two degrees cooler. However, your power consumption does not, in my opinion, does not justify having it because it's all just gonna fly right out the window. So when I get a lot of the questions are like, are you gonna add an AC? That's one of the reasons why I am not going to because when you open up the window, you turn on your vent to suck up all the smoke from your cooking equipment all that AC is gonna go right out the window, literally. So keep that in mind when you ask the question is like, do I need an AC for my food truck? You know, when you're cooking or like when it's, when you're not serving or something, when you're preparing food, yes, it makes sense, but you can just use fans for that. That's just my opinion on why I do not have an air conditioning unit in this unit. Um, the other one is on here, on my other two builds, I did a six foot vent hood from Hoodmart. I think on this one, I might add another foot. So I might do a seven foot. So it's gonna start somewhere in that stud right there. And it's gonna come about seven feet this way from Hoodmart. That is the plan that I'm thinking. That way, uh, whenever this thing gets uh, sold, someone makes an offer, they can have a little bit more space to add cooking equipment. That's just my thought process on little things that I'm gonna do different. I'm still gonna keep that roof vent right there. I will run a power wire like I did before, just in case they want to add an air conditioner. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't do it personally. And the seven foot hood right here. So with that, that's what I wanted to add on the AC topic. I ordered the concession window, so I'll drop the measurements in the description. That way you guys can have it. Um, because, oh, let me show you why I picked this, this size of the concession window, because it's very important if you have this kind of trailer. My first trailer is what they call a screwless trailer. So you're able to get away with a little bit of, of wiggle room when it comes to the outside. But let me show you why I decided to order the window, the exact measurement that I'm mentioning to you right now. Yeah. Okay, so my trailer being rolling burritos is a screwless trailer. A screwless trailer means that it doesn't have these screws right here on the outside. Obviously the name is there, right? It's screwless trailer. Um, when you go to my, when you go to this food truck or this trailer, 
obviously there's screws holding up the, we call it the trailer skin. Um, the reason I decided to go with the measurement of the window that I, to that I told you was because the edge of the window, and I'll show you on my truck right now, is gonna come right to this crevice right here. I don't want it to overlap over here. It's gonna hit right in that piece of the trailer where you guys can see the two pieces overlap. And that's gonna run all the way to this one right here. So these screws are gonna be gone on this side and it's gonna hit right there. So from this piece all the way, this is gonna be gone, 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 gone. And it's gonna stop right there. That way I don't have to cut this piece of skin that's right there that's like the overlap so just want to mention to you that there's a reason why i picked up the, the the window size that i did up and down obviously it doesn't really matter uh, you just don't want to get too low because you're going to have your serving window so your serving ledge right here where people can put their money and things like that you can put your napkins and all that fun stuff but let me show you what i mean on my food truck really quick and then we'll end the video on how to build your food truck 2.0 yeah. okay so as you can see on my trailer right here uh, there's no screws on here which is a really nice look if that's what you want. Um, this one, I, I didn't even know that that was even a, a thing, right? Screwless and screwed uh, trailers. But if you can see, that this is the inside dimension, and then there's an inch and a half lip. This lip is what attaches to the trailer on the stud, right there on the, on the metal stud of the trailer. So I got this lip of the concession window really close to this, the, this piece of the trailer on the other side. And then that comes obviously to the other side and then it connects to, to the other part of the trailer. So that's how I, I measured because don't forget you have an inch and a half lip on this side of the concession window. So those are very like little small little details that you don't want to forget when you're building this trailer. And like I said, I just want to make sure that I covered it before I started moving forward on, on the build. As I'm building the trailer, I'm uploading the videos, building, uploading, building, uploading. So you're going to see everything real time as we do it. So again, Frank Baltieres with How to Build Your Food Truck 2.0. I'm gonna be putting together the trailer tray. I found it on Camping World for about $160, $180, right around there. So if you're looking for that particular item, I'll link it in the description. There's no affiliates on that one because that's the only place that I found it, but it is a really, really good product. So again, Frank Baltieres, I will see you on the next video.